Inside of Kajabi, they have a landing pages feature where you can create opt-in pages, sales pages, uh, podcast pages, add different pages to your website. You can do tons of different things with pages. And this feature alone, if you invest in Kajabi, cancels out your need for click funnels, for lead pages, or all these other tools that can add up to a lot of money that you're spending on software. Whereas if you invest in Kajabi, it's already added into it. So today I thought I'd take you behind the scenes and show you what Kajabi pages looks like, the templates, etc., what you can do. That way you can decide if Kajabi is the right tool for you and helping you grow your own business. If you wanna take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. To access the landing pages feature inside of Kajabi, we're gonna to go to the website tab and then go down to pages. When you click here, you're gonna have three different tabs right here, website, landing page, and then funnels. Website pages, uh, when you go to design, you can get a whole template or a bunch of different templates to choose what you want your website to look and feel like. And when you click a template, you can also access those website pages here. You can customize them like your blog posts, um, blog search, announcements, directory, your uh, library, store, uh, contact, like a contact page, like all that kind of stuff you can do in here. But we're gonna check out the landing pages section. It's a little bit different. And what you can actually do is you can connect a landing page to your website by adding it to the navigation tab, which is a, a great little resource we have over here. Uh, not the topic for today. Today we're just gonna kind of dive into this. So let's see what we get access to inside of Kajabi in terms of landing pages. Go up to new landing page. Inside here you can have a blank one if you're the kind of person, similar to me, who likes to just kind of build things from scratch. If you wanna have more of a base to start with, you can decide which category you wanna focus on. So if you're gonna build a sales page, they have a whole sales category. And right here it says view all 14. So you get a bunch of different customized sales pages and you can customize every one of these pages completely, whether it's changing the text, uh, the colors, the font, uh, the pictures, adding things. You can do all this kind of stuff, whatever it is that you want really to get the right look and feel for you. So there's creative, there's prosper. And if you click right here, you can actually preview what the page looks like. So this can be your whole sales page. If you're like, oh, that's perfect. I love how colorful it is. Cool, you can change all this text, the shape of the buttons, what the buttons say. Everything is customizable. You can get rid of this frequently asked question if you want, or you can move it up here, uh, and you just click get started if you really like this one. If you don't like it, you can say keep browsing. We can check out Prosper, run through. See how it's a very different look and feel. Very similar, it has the, uh, the FAQ, has the two different options, pay in full, the payment plan, Etc. Cool countdown timer, but again, you can add all of that stuff. You can change the fonts, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. If you want to scroll down, maybe you're starting a podcast, which you can do inside of Kajabi now. I'll make another video about setting up your podcast with Kajabi. They have different pages for setting up your podcast. So, this one, for example, again, you click on it. It's really cool. You could add your own picture of you smiling here. You could change the, the black into your brand color, if it's a blue or a yellow or whatever it is. But if you like the look and feel, literally you can just leave it as is and just change out the text and put in your information. As seen on, you could get rid of that section if you want, you can have all your episodes. And when you build out this page, you can get the link 
and then go over to navigation and then add it in your navigation menu on your website, which is really cool. So when people land on your main website, it could say podcast or check out my podcast in your navigation. They click on it and then it can direct them over to this landing page that you end up deciding. But there's even more. So we have a sales page, podcast page, link in bio. This is really cool. So, I mean, just this one feature gets rid of just by using Kajabi, uh, you no longer have to invest if you do in Linktree. It does the same exact thing. So we can click here and then they can have their email they put in. They could just put your name, different image in the background. And you can say like, check out my free guide or my free workshop, book a call with me, check out my website, my YouTube channel, whatever it is that you want. So really, really cool little features we have here. And you can decide which one you want. This is a lot more simple. Um, I would probably go with this one if it was me. I think I'm actually going to create one of these pages because they're pretty helpful. Oh, and they even have even more. Click all four. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Uh, thank you pages. Really nice. Already beautiful. The creative one, if you like that, I mean, this is pretty sleek. That's pretty cool. Now, you could change all the colors too. Um, this, I think, is really cool for a thank you page or you could just leave the generic one that they already have. It's up to you. We also have an opt-in page, really big, 14 of them. If you like this one, it's very simple. You can't even scroll. It's just opt in to pick up my guide. Okay. What else do we have? Oh, we have a coming soon right here. This is helpful. Okay. And then there's a policies one. And you even have the Kajabi legacy templates. So if you're not familiar, Kajabi has been around for quite a while. I forgot the amount of years exactly, but I think it's coming up on like 10 years or something. I could be totally wrong about that. But Kajabi legacy templates, um, there's like legacy funnels too, or legacy pipelines. These are just when Kajabi was first starting out, but they've had members since they were first starting out. And some people like the old look and feel. Since then, they've created these newer looking ones with newer templates, more um, up to date, you could say. But if you like more of the simple approach and you want to stick with that, you can always visit the legacy templates down here. All right, but let's say that I wanna roll with a sales page and let's say we're gonna do, let's click on this one. So we go get started and we'll just call this sales page create. Right on, so when you land here, you'll be able to see your entire website page. Kajabi makes it really easy to just like click it and automatically pulls up what you want to do, um, what you want to update or change. You can change all this text right here. You can change the color of the actual text right here. If I wanted that to be blue, let's say that was more my color. Simple and fun. If you hit save, it'll change the color for you. You can click over here. And it just says select image. It makes it really easy. I've used like Squarespace and helped people build websites with Squarespace or I used GoDaddy when I first started. And Kajabi makes it so easy just to click it and it says right here, <laughs> change it. You know, if you want a new picture, upload a new file, click from your device or Google Drive or take a picture right here if you want. So that's one thing I just love about Kajabi is how seamless they make the process. Okay, you can go up here. You can change the image. You can barely see it right there. Um, but you can change that to your own logo. You can click on the background and see it just automatically picks it right there. And it's like, let's say blue was my color. We're going to roll with that. Sticky background color. We'll just make everything blue. Cool. See, it's already looking more branded to me. Uh, what's cool too is like if we go back, you'll be able to see there's a handful of different things right here. We can click here. We can delete the three column text, see what that looks like. So yeah, if, let's say if you want to get rid of this, you click here, delete, boom. And now you're there. You can always add a new section. They give you a ton of different options, testimonials, add a blog post. You can do custom code. I think that that's only if you're on the growth plan, which is the $200 per month Kajabi plan. That's the one that I'm on. Uh, there's an FAQ. And when you click it, you can see it. If you like it, you can add. If you want to change, like mm, I kind of like the, uh, the regular one a bit more cool. And you can even change like the color of these little icons. You can make it more of a drop down arrow. If you want to add an offer here, you can do that. You just have to decide which offer you want to actually display offer storefront, multiple offers, pricing cards. Pricing cards are really cool. If you want to just have two or keep it three, maybe a paid in full and then a pay per month option videos. You can add audio image gallery, Okay, the list goes on opt-in form, carousel, 
So you could pick like the sales page that they had in um, the, the templates that were made out for you. And you can just delete everything. You can make it just a normal landing page. You could turn that quote unquote sales page into an about me page if you wanted. And it's really customizable. Link list, okay? I think you get the idea. You can add new text, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you wanted to change the actual font, let's say you're like, I really like the look and feel of this. I like the picture, but I'm not really into this font. We could click right here. It'll show it right here. And then if you scroll down, you should be able to click Nope, no, it's not there. We'll go back, back to the beginning, click settings. And then we're gonna have favicon, which is the little icon, like you could have this icon right here, the little logo, uh, be up in the tab when someone lands on your website, if that's your logo. So if you go to profityourknowledge.com and any website page of mine, you'll see um, it doesn't say like the Kajabi logo. I can actually show you um, at the top. It'll say Kajabi, shows that little icon. That's your favicon. Okay, so you, you can change that. Um, I think you can change inside the main settings and it'll just leave it across every page that you create because I don't have to do it every time. And then down here, we have style guide. So here is where you can change the primary color. Uh, if you make a new button, it's automatically gonna be this color. So if your main color is that blue, anytime you make a new uh, button or something that has a primary color already, like the buttons are already your main color, it's automatically gonna be that color. So you don't have to keep changing them. Cool. Uh, if we go down here, this is the cool part where we, where we can change the fonts. So you click here and if you don't like this font, let's say maybe you like this one more, we can hit save. And now you can see that it's different. That's the body font. Let's say we want the heading font to be just the same one. Why not? You can see, totally changes it. All right, and now change it across all of these. So if you have like a heading font that you like and then the body font you want to be a little bit different, you can change all of that. Well, let's see if we can actually find like a, a pretty one if they have it like this. Ooh, look at that. Cool, so we'll save it. And now you can say simple and fun, looks cool. And then the bottom text is a lot easier to read. Healthy eating, you know, people like to do that. The fancy twirly cursive stuff. I'm more like bold font personally. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much landing pages, and you can do this inside of every single landing page that you decide to create. One other thing is when you make a landing page, it's important to go down to the details tab right down here next to save. You click on that. It's gonna take you over to this page. So what I like to do is not call it sales page, but if this was a sales page, I would say something like the name of the course. Like I have a course called Effortless Income. It's about you know starting your business where it's not consuming your life and your work hours and all that cool stuff. Uh, so we can actually have a business that works for us and it's fun for us to run. Hence why it's effortless. So I would have, normally it would say profityourknowledge.com slash, and I could write effortless. Make it really short, make it simple, and then you can click copy and that's a link that you can share with people or you can guide people to if you're creating some sort of funnel, you just click it here and you know when people click on a link or a button, it's gonna automatically go to this sales page in this example that you have. You can also decide if you want it, this page to show in search results or not and you can change up the title, description, the image and all that stuff is what's gonna be visible in a search result. When you get it the way you want it to be, hit published, and go down to save, saving, cool, and then we're done. And that's really all there is to building out landing pages, but you can do a ton of different things and link them wherever you want. And one of the coolest things is that you get unlimited landing pages inside of Kajabi. If you're thinking about trying out Kajabi yourself and you're just kind of dabbling around with some videos, consider just trying it out. That's the best way to see if it really is a good fit for you. And I'd recommend obviously to check out my link, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. You'll get a 30 day free trial, which is double the amount that you get compared to going through Kajabi's website. You'll get a free course from me. that helps you set up your business for success in Kajabi. And then you get a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me as well where I get to help you answer any questions about sales, marketing, setting your business up inside of Kajabi so you can get the most out of this amazing platform yourself and start growing your business. If you have any questions about landing pages in Kajabi, let me know in a comment below and I will do my best to answer. And if it makes sense, I'll make another video going into a bit more depth. I hope this was insightful for you and I will see you in the next one.